In this video, we're going to explore the web-based user interface provided by the Databricks platform. Here's the main landing page that you first come across when you log in. From here, we can really quickly create a notebook, import data, access some documentation and release notes. You might see some content here that's different depending on the content and activity existing in your workspace. But this overall layout should be the same. Next, let's talk about this sidebar. For the purposes of this demo, I'll just leave it expanded. The first important element found in the sidebar is this persona switcher. Here we can choose between three different services provided by Databricks, including the Data Science and Engineering Workspace, Databricks Machine Learning, and Databricks SQL. I can access Databricks SQL for performing ad hoc and exploratory data analysis on your data lake, and to quickly develop agile dashboards to test and validate business requirements. Databricks Machine Learning is a central space for managing machine learning workflows and to track all assets related to ML. And of course, the data science and engineering workspace, which we'll be using here. Note that you can pin personas to make that the default when you log into this platform. From the sidebar, you can also quickly create assets like notebooks, tables, clusters, jobs, and repos. The workspace tab here provides a file system navigator to access and manage the assets in your workspace. This repos tab provides a file system navigator that's similar to the workspace, but it's used to browse the assets contained in the Databricks repos that you have checked out. Next is the Recents tab, which provides quick access to recently used assets, which can be helpful during development. This Data tab allows you to browse the data assets contained within your workspace. Here you can browse databases and tables and also navigate the Databricks file system, a distributed persistent file system available to all of your clusters. And clicking on Compute over here will bring you to the Clusters page, where you can create and manage clusters for executing commands and workloads. And clicking the Jobs button will bring you to a page where you can create and manage jobs and pipelines. These allow you to execute workloads on demand or on a schedule. And below, you'll find other useful functionality. Partner Connect allows you to quickly and easily connect your workspace to a select but ever-growing list of partner integrations. You can also access help to access product documentation, release notes, a knowledge base, community support, and more. And we can go to settings to configure your user settings. Right now, I'm logged in as student at databricks.com. This provides settings like resetting your password, personal access tokens, Git integration, notebooks, model registry, and more. As well as the admin console to manage this workspace and the account console, assuming you have the relevant privileges.